Hello everyone, I'm Dustin Avenger Joy. Wait, I'm not joined by anyone. Hi everyone, I'm Dustin Avenger and it's early morning. This is Nino Kune 2, Revenant Kingdom. Look back in here. And welcome to the lives of the rich and famous. Here we sing King Evan Moore. King King Evermore in in Ev in the Kingdom of Heaven. That doesn't that doesn't work out. Wasn't this longer when it was a wooden? I, th this area, th this entire area, level one was larger. I swear it was when it was made out of wood. I think you guys are cheating me. All right. Well, haven't done much. When I say I haven't done much, I've done a little bit. I try to keep all of the interesting stuff on screen and the boring stuff off screen. So I did a little bit of leveling, grinding, that kind of thing. Just because the mobs were starting to pull away from us a bit. Uh, I think our last boss we fought was 43 and we were like 32 at the time. Um, huh. So yeah, we're just collecting some of this. We did, so we upgraded the kingdom before we end last time. And uh, I've been going through and just building a lot of the houses and stuff around here. I did one side quest, got a guy who sings. I think it's like a almost like a music menu. You you can walk over here and listen to anything, which is cool. But uh, kind of yeah, lots of places, lots of places. I still haven't put in. I don't want to put in this. Um, the game froze. Too too much stuff on the screen. <laughs> it's just killing itself. FPS wise now. Got this built only because our current mission says to talk to Leander about getting our ships the ability to jump to get across the rift into the new area. So, I built this, leveled it up once. Hopefully, this is something that we need. And if not, then can I can I can I go back to the room? Thank you. So let's continue. You know when, whenever you're ready, Evan. To the king and all, apparently the king of the load screens too. Hey Leon, wow. what's up, man? Seems we have all we need. Let us have Ketch begin his research on how our ships can be made to jump. He's gonna be like, what? Hey there. I'll set your majesty. That was all? That Leander showed us what we needed to do and we went and did it quick as you like. You'll be leaping around the ocean like Billy O and that thing now. Thank you. Thank you, Ketch. Oh, I thought there was going to be, like, some sort of... Okay, cool. Uh, your ship's modified. Now you're able to jump the Great Rift in the ocean. Just sell it to the right spot. Displayed in the picture. And you'll fly over automatically. Shall we get going? Now that everything's ship shape. Uh, before we set sail, what kind of country is this broadleaf, eh? Never ventured as far as old autonomy there. Uh, it's a kingdom founded on a mysterious art known as science. Huh? <laughs> science. <laughs> There's a means of manipulating the powers of nature, like magic, but unlike it. Say. It's ruled by President Zip Vector, right? The inventor? He's some kind of genius, apparently. Thanks to his ingenuity, what began as small business has grown into a great industrial nation almost overnight. Well, as it seems that things have not been going well as of late, there are reports of political unrest and of discontent among the populace. Hey, Roland, you'll actually know some of the science, maybe. Hmm. Kingdom with problems. Hmm. Let's sneak in there and help them a little bit and then get them to sign our document because that's what we're doing. We're sneaking in there like like Navy SEALs go. We're kind of helping, we're kind of not, but we're going to get your attention so sign it so we can be friends later. Oh, come on. Then we can use you to our advantage. Stop being so miserable. Let's go, shall we? Head to Bradley, all right. Screw the screw the noise. We're gonna do it the fast way, which is I believe we can. It's a world map. Actually, you know what? That would have been the fastest way. Now I think about it, I think I can warp to the ocean right outside of Hydropolis. I missed the opportunity, mate. Now we gotta do some uh, skirmishes at some point as well. Ooh, heard about that. I'm drinking coffee, don't worry. It's unusual for me to be up this early doing anything, but... It happens. Uh, let's go for this one since it's right here. 
No. Oh, it got me. Jerk. You ready for this? Beat this. I don't actually see the big downside to uh, getting surprise attacks. Soldier King? What achievement was that? I guess uh, killing X number of mobs? Or leveling up to a certain point? So the loot just explodes and then we get it all, then we're good to go, let's roll. I would only be scared of running into uh, really powerful mobs. Because you can't see what these guys are until they're on top of you. Wow, they... They have some sort of, uh, aggro range, don't they? Fish. High tide shield. Darn. Picked up a side quest in Hydropolis. It's like, hey, get a poisonous fish. Okay. We'll see what we can do. Well, here's the point. I guess we're catching air and going for it. Ah, yeah. Um. Did I jump the wrong rift? Son of a gun, I think I jumped the wrong rift. How do you zoom? Not really, I just need to go around the back side. We got this. A little bit more splurring. Yo, it's all frozen over here, man. Oh, instantly I got dark, too. Oh, this may be the area that, um... Dollaran. Oh, that dude is huge. No thanks. Oh, there's a level 63 Grim Chilla. Let's not mess with him. Also, I'm a little bit wary of the uh, creatures around here, too. They may get. I don't know if they're affected by the level range of the area. What is that? It's one of those gorilla things that we fought before. Can't dock here. What is that? 58 Snagglewolf. Hey, Snagglewolf. We gotta just travel right around this. I wonder if there's any, like, hidden islands or something in this game. You know, kind of like the old, uh, Final Fantasies. Chrono Trigger and the like. I really should be grabbing any, uh, chests that are on the edge. Just because if this is a higher level zone, I don't think there's really... Yo, you're spooky looking. I don't think there's really, like, level requirements on the gear. It's just if you have it, you can use it kind of thing, so... It's one of those things that if you can find something that's a much higher level, then you're just going to be giving yourself that much of a strength increase. I know these are just, uh, reskins of creatures you've already seen, but... They're still crazy looking. Oh, look. All the loot! Ooh, a devil fish. I wonder if he's one of the poisonous ones. He sounds like it. So they said it's high tech over here, but polluted. Which makes me think we need to reinvest. Oh, yeah, we're going to need to reinvest our tactic tweaker. In fact, I think this is where we got to land. Yeah, as soon as we land, let's, uh, 
switch out our tactic quicker. Water damage is no longer our option that we want, but I hit the wrong button. We want to go for stuff against poison. Hmm. Oh, any King's Guilders to reset this? Hey, oh, yeah. Okay, uh, reset battle point. Excuse me. No, wait, I don't need to reset battle points. It's not, I need to just go. I just go. Poison resistance up. Um, blackness, blaze versus be befuddlement. Mm, damage versus being confused doesn't sound that bad. Wind damage or sleep. I mean, I kind of feel like boosting wind damage. Just take a couple points in wind damage. Take a couple uh, in light. Let's take one in fire then. Yeah, that works. Um... Puddle creatures versus solidity. Uh, s I feel like slimy base foes may be a thing here. Nobility, I don't know if we're going to need dragon, but let's just go full. Well, that might be nature related. Because, but it's not really going to be natural foes. Okay, let's just go solidity. I feel like poisonous slimes may be in our future. Now, let's also just go ahead and switch out ahead of time if we got any anti-poison stuff to go with it. Cause Yeah. I don't think we got anything great as far as this, but we should have at least a poison guard. No. This is a fusion, magic muffler, increases magic defense. Reduce boost resistance to nixing. I still don't know what nixing does. That's 20 magic def. It's pretty solid. Yeah, let's, uh... Do, 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 do. He's got 5 to 10 split. And he's got the 25. You know... Let's just boost his with the, uh... Shiny magic muffler as well. That should cover us. I feel like that should cover us at least. Throw down some of that hot save action. Don't don't read into the whole hours played thing. I have this bad habit of leaving this game on in the background when I'm editing stuff. Yep, there's a slam right there, slammy slam. Oh, 45. Yeah. I wasn't wrong. A little bit of leveling was good, but was it enough? Okay. Can I get through here? Burr. Like clockwork enemies, too. I guess it makes sense because the tech fighting slimy I'm stuff. I'm counting on you all. Eat this. It's probably sturdy enemies, actually. Eat this. That's very... Yeah, that guy is sturdy. Holy butts. I gotta heal against the basic enemy. That's, that's not good. Here go these. If you would, please. Give 
get that HP. Thank you. Holy moly. So yeah, we gotta deal with that. With the sturdy guys. Oh, in there. They're a higher level than us. Yeah. Well, that's where we got the tactic tweaker. So, puddle guys, not needed as much. Solid dudes. Yeah, let's get that damage increase. Also, I think when we have it switched like this, it's going to increase or decrease. Like, if we're going Slitty versus Slimus. So, since we had full sliminess, we were doing more damage to the slimes and way less damage to the solid guys. So, now we'll do a lot more damage to the solid guys. Some of these natural dudes, too. I thought I was doing well catching up to everybody, but Prepare no. To be boarded. Eat this. Come on, slap it down. Just XXY, XXY, you just keep it kind of stun locked. Eat this. Nice. Oh, look at Red 13. Pound Fancy. That experience, though, man. That experience game is crazy. We should be got to at least, at least the 40s in no time. So what are we now? Uh, 34 and 34 and 37. Of course, Lander was like 35 when we first got him, so he's catching up real fast. BL Aster. Come on, bastard. There's some shiny over there, and I don't like the look of it. Here goes nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Holy to no. Okay. Sponge sponge glues. Bang glues are kicking our butts, man. No, I'm just gonna back up and let my uh piglies do a little bit. Switch to all ranged offensive. Oh, it's a skirmish over here. A skirmish we're most likely not ready for at all. Because we barely made it. These are 50s. Is this really the next place we gotta go to? Holy butt sauce. What is with the powerful enemies around here? What are you guys doing to the environment that's causing this? are messed up. Broadleaf. Let me in. Thank you. In order to enter, you need to prove your wolf and kill three of these creatures. We killed like 80 on our way here. Doesn't matter, you didn't have the quest. Kill three more. Dude's the JRPG way. Yo, it looks like Midgar, man. There is no leaf in Broadleaf. Well, I think those are trees. I don't know. They could not be trees. Oh my! 
So the tower is this is the main city of Broadleaf. I've never seen anything like it. Hey! It's starting soon. Uh what is? Kidding me, right? Did you watch the news? Exposition, exposition, you didn't know? The anti-vector faction is holding a big demonstration. Wow. Because the president? Yeah. Otherwise, it's really a wow thing. I mean, hey, we have demonstrations against Trump all the time. It's 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 part of the movement of uh, free speech. We can dislike whoever we want to dislike. I mean, as long as you're not straight up hating on people, you know, you know, violent or manner. I mean, that, that's not cool. But you can dislike how people run things. No problem. Suppose we better go and take a look for ourselves. Join the faction, take down the president, and align with the new president. I like the sound of that. Travel to the entrance trip door. Ooh, dirty, dirty. Hi, lady, what's up? You got anything? Well, hi there. Uh, the door. So, what, what would... Would you like a part in my play? Oh, you can't act? That's a shame. Okay. The quest! Robot. Going up? If so, hop on board. Beep boop. All you gotta do is pick which part of town you wanna go to. Uh. Part of the top. The top of the treehouse? Well, uptown. It is. We have to fight those robots at some point, aren't we? I can feel it. Hey, whoop. Whoop door. Play the FPS is working a little bit better. But not entirely. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just this game, but like when Evan runs, it doesn't seem like the world is... is something's going wrong when he runs. It was really smooth in the beginning, now I just feel like it's it's off slightly, but that could just be me. Alright, let's see what's going on. It's time, Bracken. Alright, we're gonna start by thanking everybody for coming. Huh? Mm -hmm. Who are you guys? I've seen you. You were around the company. Listen. Sorry, but things are about to get to get um things could be about to get dangerous. You better leave. Oh. Oh, we're gonna go and meet with President Victor. What's all this about exactly? Meet with the ha, ah, meet with the president. I don't think it's about to happen. Yeah, you know, I'm Bracken, Bracken uh, Meadows. I'm chief engineer here at the Broadleaf Industries. They're not a city, it's a company. That's a bad sign. I'm the one who gathered all the people here today. We're going to try to make President Vector finally listen to what we have to say. <sighs> We've got to get through to him. To make him hear what the workers this company relies on have to say. Golly. Jeez. He hasn't been the same since we started developing the perpetual fission reactor. He doesn't care about anything except finishing the damn thing and not even his employees' lives. <sighs> Something like 20 people have already collapsed from overwork. These conditions, they're unacceptable. What what kind of leader would do such a thing? Hey! Hey Bracken, he's back! Alright, let's do this. Cutscene. Cutscene. There we go. Show Look. me your magic, sir! What is that thing? It's a is that an airship built in his image? It appears to be an airship of some sort. <laughs> Ugh, look at the face on it. That's great. That's that's horrible looking. It's like a giant like foot. We're ready when you are, Bracken. Just say the word. Thanks, Trey. Maybe now you'll listen, Zip. Oh. She said his name in, in, in first. For too long, the president has been working us like well. slaves to get his perpetual fission reactor finished. 
but we have a message for him. We are not your slave, Zip. It's okay. Everyone is fired. I'm replacing you with robots. Ha <laughs> ha. Twist mustache. We demand workers' rights. We demand fair treatment. Everyone is a hipster, though. We've had it with being worked half to death. No more reactor. No more overtime. We're not slaves. We're, We're not. Cut them off. Sorry, guys. Sounds like I'm gonna have to let some people go. Doesn't he look like the little black-haired kid with the, the glasses from, like, uh, Dexter's Laboratory? I, I, I forget his name. His, his name is on the tip of my tongue. Start with an M? I could be wrong. Huh? What's that like? He's attacking! Oh... Oh, is that his kingmaker? Dude. That's gotta be, because uh, this was the kingmaker that was all about self-improvement. So, this guy's just been building onto his Kingmaker, which is pretty badass, honestly. Though I'm kind of surprised he's not like Turtle, because I was kind of... I was calling Turtle. Now you see what happens to those who defy me! <laughs> I don't want say Turtle, because, I mean, you could have, like, a turtle inside a Finally shell and have guns and stuff on it. Yeah. Huh, Mr. President? What a disappointment to see you leading this Ragtag resistance. You know, I expected better of you, Bracken. I expected better of you, too. Have you forgotten what we said when we started out? We promised to make the world a better place, remember? He's been taken over by dark forces. They, they haven't been taken over. They've just been, like, and we emphasizing will. The his hate for humanity. Fission reactor will change the world forever! And the future will be mine to define. He must have a headache because he keeps holding his head. Even if it means Hold trampling over <laughs> everybody who helped you make it this far? You used to care about us. You used to be a leader people could trust. But that's all gone. Now it's progress or nothing, no matter the cost. When did you get so broken? I'm the broken one! Look at yourselves, stuck in the past, left behind by the march of progress. I don't need you anymore! <laughs> yeah. You asshole! It there you are. Time. Was he yanking... Is he yanking the King's Bond before we actually solve the issue? Because this is a little... A wrench in the plans of our normal thing. There's a lot more awesome than uh, his usual way of doing it, though. Oh, hell. We gotta fight that thing. If it's anything like the, the level of creatures that we fought outside, we're screwed. Ugh. Yeah, it was Dolaron. Mm. Damn it, we're late again. Ah! Right. It is a turtle. I just realized it is a turtle ish. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't quite look like a turtle, but it is a turtle. Kind of. Bastion, what are you doing? I dare you disobey me. Shoot her! He 
turtle with an ugly head. Now I understand. Though it looks really close like a behemoth kind of thing, so... A little bit of both. Oh yeah, that's gonna work. Then again, I guess we smack him in the face with a sword, so... <laughs> Do you really think you can stop me? Well, let me tell you something, friend. Anybody who stands in my way... Gets atomized! I like the sounds off a little bit. Dude, that's a crazy looking monster though. And he has stealth. So where have we been the whole time? Did we run too? Whoa. Looks like Bastion's gone. Bastion, Kingmaker of Broadleaf. I had not thought we would actually see the creature for ourselves. Hey. You said you were here to see President Vector, right? What kind of assholes yes. are you? Uh, that's right, I'm, I'm Evan, King of Evermore. It's the new kingdom for the Harlands. We've come to ask President Vector to sign a pact to join us and join our uh, Union of Friendly Nations. Holy! Wait, I think I heard about you guys. Gold Paul and Hydropolis already signed up, right? Hmm. And now you want us on board too? Well, a hole of a president. Uh, well, I guess I don't need to tell you this. Not exactly a good time. Yeah. You can say that again. If he's setting his kingmaker on his own people, imagine what he'd do to us. <sighs> it used to be like that. Reckon to me, we founded this whole company with him. Uh, we know we know him better than anybody. It's a perpetual fission in that reactor. Uh, since ever since he started working on that, it's been different. He's been different somehow. Mm. Yeah, and it wouldn't be surprised me if this is all Dollaran's doing. Who or what is a Dollaran? He's a strange masked man who's going around stealing the king's bonds of all the world's great leaders. We saw him stealing President Vector's too. He pollutes people's hearts with an awful blackness that he can use to control them. I'm sure that what he must happen to the president. Huh? You kidding me? Then we gotta help him. We will. I'm sure there's a way to bring him back to his old self. No. Based on what we have seen and heard, it seems the president has been quite seriously infected by Dalaran's evil influence. Of course, he, he might have already been a douche. Queen Nerissa, uh, Korea had been highly skilled in the magical arts herself, but was capable of resisting the darkness enough that restoring her to her senses was a relatively simple task. If I may be so bold. Somewhat doubt that this will be as easy in this case. Excuse me? Well, then we have to kill him. Ah, uh, he said that you and President Vector used to be close, didn't you, Bracken? Is there a way you can remind him of those times, perhaps? Huh. Try to snap him out of my jogging his memory, you mean? Yeah, that could work. Hmm. You want me to remind him of the good old days, huh? Where the shot? Well, this right here might be a good place to begin. It's where the three of us started all those years ago. We used to do all the work in the room right through here. It's still just how we left it. Hmm. Such a place might certainly hold clues to how we might proceed. Would it be alright if we took a look uh, at this workshop you was bracken? Uh huh. Sure, be my guest. Head for Zip and Bracken's old, aren't we there? I mean, they made it seem like this old workshop. Yay! Weird stuff on the ground, let's take it. Hmm. Cause 
it seems kind of small when compared to the offices we have now, but everything that grew into Broadleaf Inc., we know today started here. Yeah, Zip recorded every minute of it. The guy was obsessed. It was his idea to leave this place, just like uh, this forever, too, huh? So we'd never forget where we came from. Mm. Our refined sentiment, to be sure. Shall we have a look around and see what we find? Possibly lots of videos. Uh, I expect the tech and probably to be kind of similar to what we had back at home, but I gotta say, they're way ahead of us. <laughs> you know, lad, I've always liked a treasure hunt. All of us pirates do, I suppose. What's that now? This ain't supposed to be a game? Oh, lad. Well, that's right enough. I was just saying all. You you were looking at a wall, Batu. Don't tell me you're enjoying a treasure... You're going back to the wall. What are you looking at? Dude, it's a wall. Oh, hey, look at this. Sparkly. Mimlith B O O eleven. Oh, oh, there it goes. Found this. Is it anything important? Huh. Oh, it's a Mimlith. Pretty old one. Must be left behind from back in the day. Oh. What's a Mimlith? Well, you take a crystal and run a tiny magical current through it to record visual data. Then you can run a light beam through it, focus it with a prism lens, and watch the data back whenever you like. By which, uh, it, you can record memories. Golly! You can watch them now? The ones in the memo, if I mean. Uh-huh. Should let's fly back and see what we got here. Hey, Bracken? There's something up with this circuit. Can you take a look? Sure. Let me see. Yeah, I think you're getting some leakage right about here. Okay, leave it with me and I'll see what I can do. Oh, that'd be great, thanks. I can't wait to get the crystal battery up and running. This thing's gonna be a game changer for the energy business. The technology we build here today will make a better tomorrow for everybody. I can feel it. Me too. A small loan of $40 million later. Wow. That was from way back when we first started out. Yeah! Use it to jog the president's memory, right? And if not, we can just smack him over the head and use it to jog his, his memory. Huh. I'd say so. A picture's worth a thousand words, after all. Should be good to have a couple more than just this one, though. Are there any other memoralists from back then, Bracken? Hmm. Mm, it was kind of hot on destroying sensitive data. If it wasn't essential to the running of the company, it pretty much all got wiped. But I took a look at the database just now. It seems like four memoirs were unaccounted for. Which means there may be another three out there somewhere. If we could find them all, then that ought to be enough to jog his memory for sure. It seems a little unlikely that we're going to find them just lying around like we did this one. You're right. I'm sure it's unlikely, but I have an idea how we might be able to maximize our chances. Can we make a memolith locator? Okay, people at the factory. Let's go find them. Thanks. Thanks for helping me out like this, you guys. Bracken temporarily joins the party! Does that mean we're gonna get Bracken as a character, possibly? I hope so. I hope she's got guns. Well, I mean, we haven't run into any guns yet. But that doesn't mean we won't run into gun. Well, I take I take that back. I'm a, I take 100% back. We have a gun user. It's... It, Roland. Roland uses guns. We haven't seen any guns yet! Oh, I... It uses guns. <laughs> Head to the factory. Yeah, this way. Excuse me? Yeah. The world the world wasn't there for a second. Oh, hey, slice cream of cheese. Yay. Uh but 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 It's not the way to go. You are lying to me. It's this way. And then that way. And then a few more skippy frames later, it'll be this way. Yo, I, I dig. 
just kind of catchy here. Oh. No! This way! Uh, factory is probably, let's see, bottom floor was probably Midland, Midtown, I guess. Nope. I was incorrect. We were already downtown, so let's go uptown, I guess? Gaze the place. I mean, I know we were at the whole uh, place at the very beginning, but I, I, I didn't it said rooftop. It said like helipad almost. I didn't think the factory is actually going to be up there. I guess it makes sense from a logical standpoint because if you get a lot of uh, pollution and stuff coming off, you probably want it to not be filtering through your city. <laughs> We're burning, burning coal here, and everyone above us is dying. Factory security at level 5, authorized personnel only. What the? Wait a second. Will I teach our friend here some manners? <laughs> Did you just punch a robot? <laughs> Welcome, fellow workers! It is another great day in the Broadleaf Incorporated. Just say the word if you need the elevator. <laughs> That's more like it. Yo, you just pimp slapped a robot into submission. I like you. Yes, yes, I would like to use the elevator. Thank you. Oh, oh, this entire thing's the elevator. I wouldn't have called that. Drop the base, yo. This is where people work? Dude, no other people are dying left and right. It's well, foggy no. in here. So how'd you propose to find these memory stone contrivances of yours in a great cavern of a place like this, eh, girly? Well, they're pretty small, right? Which means people lose them all the time. It's not any good when they're filled with sensitive data. <laughs> Create a handy utility to scan the vicinity to find them. <laughs> Are you chill uh, what to the witch vicinity now how? Uh-huh. Thanks to the database, we know the serial numbers of the mind we're missing, so if they're here, we should see them soon enough. Whoa! She found a treasure map there, pirate man. It's from the archive over there. But the whole factory's on lockdown. We gotta fire up the boilers before we get in there. Come on. Huh. Take the one on this floor. So, first quest, fire up the boilers. No. Second quest, get that. Third quest, get something uh -huh. else. Fourth quest, get something else. Fifth quest, get something else. Sixth quest, get something else. And then we'll have everything done for this quest. Check. Yes. Real quick, just close one more thing out of my computer and maybe it'll. Let's see if that helps. Oh, the frames. I'd like to see them speedrun this game eventually. I want to see how you can save the frames in this game. The game doesn't want to save the frames itself. Oh, there's a lot of mobs, let's fight them! 
You were just doing your job. Screw you. Eat this. Yo, level up, man. Swanky. Oh, that's a light. I thought one of our guys threw something glowy over here. Okay, so we gotta go where it says to go. Where everybody knows our names. Beady. Steal a nugget and some cash. Kashish. So, that's... Okay, we're just gonna... We got monsters in here too. What kind of factory are you guys running here? I trust you guys, man. So, slimy guys. Slap him. I'm a little bit late, guys. Just a little bit late. Well, no. I mean, I know the first thing about a robot, but I know the smell of high-grade oil when I'm near it. Like the medicine boiler on Dino floor number one in the factory. This would be it. Oh no, now we gotta get oiler, oil to light the boiler. Please, no. Uh -huh. We can light up the steam it produces should start generating power. Huh. See, mentioned that. Eh? We'll need some fuel. Huh. You just put it like that. Hey, I'm gonna teach you a spell. Listen carefully. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, of course. I'm gonna point at you until you know it. Magic! Kindle spell. Non battle spell learned. I'm gonna light shit on fire. Yeah, right? Uh, if you cast it on the boiler, you should get the just right number of fire healers. Your usual fire spells are well and good for battle, but they don't give you the fine control you need for this kind of thing. Alright. Just cast Kindle on the boiler. Yeah, alright. Don't think we actually have that number of fire higglies. Power! We All have right. the power. We need to change the direction the gears are turning. Use the control panels to see if you can use the gears to get us over to the archive. Hmm. Check your map to find the control panels. There are two on this floor. I hear stuff moving around on the other side, and it's kind of messing with me. Yeah. Also, the things that you can use... They're also glowy. Just, just pointing that out. The plan was connected to the blue panel, change positions! A little awkward, aren't you? Maybe. There's a lot of mobs. And not a lot of ex not a lot of HP, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> your judgment's nigh. Uh, your judgment is Bill Nye the science guy. Yeah. 
Oh, I saw the HP. Thank you. Don't let me down. Okay, healed up right away. Kind of feel like the best solution to fighting this game is lots of piggledies that like to do heals. Because they're nice. They're like little freebie health potions. Can you die, please? Thank you, sir. Unnecessary path? Whatever. Come on, give me a strong weapon. I, you, you gave me magic. Okay. This is not the path I need to go. But one of many possible ones. Did I... I, I... I sealed myself off when I used this one, didn't I? Mm. I did, didn't I? No? Yes. No? Maybe? No? Back this way. Go this way and around. No, that's back that way. So was there a connection to over here that I missed? I can jump down! Like magic! A pair of untouchable brutes boots. Yo, that sounds better than what I got. Plus, I've never seen brute boots before. They may be awesome. As fewer curse arms appear, brute boots are invulnerable for longer when dodging and boost damage done by hammers. Well, you we know what you're getting, buddy. Hammer boots. Mm, you're already wearing some of the better stuff. Boost damage by swords. Yeah, you're already you're already wearing better stuff. Okay. Uh and I'm heading to the archives, which I should actually get to now. Mm-hmm. There are ro robots over there. And it's a chest. Let's go get the robots in the chest. Just bring him into the corner and then kick his butt. What the? Oh, it's an awakening! Jeez. Okay. Considering how much I've actually played this game, that's the first awakening I've seen on stream and the second one I've ever seen, period, so... Yo, I, I think that may be part of Lofty's thing, that he's causing the Awakenings. 
I know there's a, uh, a a place we can build in the kingdom now that has research to increase the uh, Lofty's ability, so we're gonna have to take a look at that when we get back. Oh, this place is a mess! Yeah, when the treehouse finally went up, they moved our old offices over here. And this place uh, wound up being where they dumped a bunch of the old records. Alrighty. Let's dig for that memoleth, shall we? I already saw it. It's right here. You found it! BLO27! Memolith! Memolith, go. Woo, yeah. Reboot. I know I was right. Go find me is a headache saving killer app the world's been waiting for. Huh? Kind of weird name is that? Come on, let's watch the next Memolith. Zip, the launch was a disaster. Everybody hates it. Half the units we shipped have been returned. What? Why? Why? Damn it, my design was perfect! I'm sorry, Zip. This is the end for us, huh? We're finished. Man. Oh, man. What are we gonna do? You're gonna quit whining and start thinking. That's what. This isn't the end, it's the beginning. Someday soon, the world will finally understand my vision. We're not giving up until that day comes. He looks a little bit like Bill Gates, Sonny. We nearly went under, right then and there. I can remember sitting up crying all night long. It was hard, but nobody did more to get us back on our feet than Zip. He was an inspiration. God. Dang it! Doesn't make any sense. The figures for the perpetual fission reactor, they're all over the place. Sorry. Sorry, sir, but with the prototype in this state, it's just not safe. Shut up! Shut up, shut up, shut up! I don't want to hear it. Just fix it! We need to finish that thing. We need to finish it now! I don't care what it takes! Y yeah Yes, sir. My head. Ah, never mind that. I'm gonna get the job done if I just let this slow me down. Nobody takes a break. Not me, not anybody. We'll work all night if we have to. It's been a robot the whole time. Alright, find the next one so we can do another quest to get Alrighty. that one. Alright, I'm getting a signal for the next level up. That's the smart stick lab. <laughs> you can tell us exactly what a smart stick is on the way. Okay, let's get moving. Boom, 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 boom. Anything else spicy in here? I thought I saw more shiny stuff, but it could have just been reflection off of a few things. Real quick, what are we looking at here? This is actually, we're exactly in an hour, I think that's good to call it. Especially after yesterday's really long episode. I, I had to get through that area. The, uh, the FPS in that area was just so bad. It was driving me up the dang wall. So thank everyone for joining me. Thanks for hanging out. For more news and information on what's going on or what may be, check out the description below. If you like what you saw want to see more, like it, slap the like button, bash the subscribe button, and share the video. This does money event just signing off for now. Until next time, folks. Take care! Bye, Underground.